The verse on the Jester for Jesus website for today is from Isaiah 6 and verse 3. Just part that verse. It says this. The whole earth is full of his glory. It's a bit like yesterday's verse that said, The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands. This verse from Isaiah, the whole earth is full of his glory. And this time of year in particular, you look out at anything. There's things coming up off the ground, there's plants growing, the buds coming on the trees, the blossom is appearing on some trees. Yet yeah, the whole earth is full of God's glory. And these people that say there's no such thing as God, God didn't create things. Look at a basic flower. Look at the, the beauty of it, the veins inside the petals, the veins inside the leaves, how it gets its nutrients up from the ground. The whole earth is full of God's glory. He created it. He created it just because he could create it. Because he wanted to create it. Because he wanted it there for our enjoyment. So we should enjoy it. The whole earth, everything screams that there is a God. Everywhere we look, because the whole earth is full of God's glory. You want to see God? You go look at the beauty of nature. The different shades of that you have in the grass on the fields, that every blade of grass is different. Although they look the same, they're different. Every leaf on every tree is different, but they look the same. Every flower has got, might be yellow, there could be other colours in there too, because the whole earth is full of the glory of God. That's something to think about as you're driving into your place of work today, or whether you're travelling on a train or a bus or walking, where it is, just take a moment to look at something and say, wow, the whole earth is full of his glory. Have a good day today.